little YouTube. As you can tell, I'm done with the electrical on the bike. Well, as much as I can get done without the engine. So I got the uh, that speedometer that I bought. Got it right here. And uh, everything inside light pod, all the wiring. So there's not much more I can do with the wiring now until I get the engine in. Which brings us to this video. You know, start tearing down the engine and rebuilding it uh, from, uh, from the ground up. This one here has got no compression. The other one, PT70 and I rebuilt a few years back, had good compression. Didn't have to do much with the engine. But this one here has zero. Either that means the rings are gone or the valves are burned out. So we'll see what happens. So uh, my first step here is uh, I'm going to be taking off the uh, that head right here, this part. Take a look at the valves. Then take the head off and the cylinders. And again, um, the other bike, the shifter had stripped. So they had welded it on. Had to replace the shifter shaft. This one, the shifter, not the, uh, I'm sorry, the other bike was a kickstart shaft. They had welded it on. The kickstart to the shaft. This one, they welded the shifter to the shaft. Right here. Nice. Why do people do this? It's ridiculous. So I'm going to have to grind this off and hopefully maybe able to salvage it. I doubt it. So I'll probably have to get a new shaft for the shifter. So, okay. Let's start taking the heads off. I've taken the bolts off already. Now with the engine this way on a bench, this nut that goes up here has got a brass washer and it has a regular nut. The other ones here have regular washers and has acorn nuts. Why? I don't know. I really don't know why they did, they did this. Same with the other bike was the same thing. There seems to be like you have to put that uh, washer on this one here. I don't know what for. So, somebody knows, let me know. Okay, to take these off, you're going to have to kind of persuade it a little bit with a little bit of a tap of the hammer. Once you get it loose, just pry it off. Like so. Uh, gasket's kind of sticking. There we go. Done. There you go. You can see your lifters here. The valves would be right here. There. So we'll take a look at them and see how the valves look like. Okay, so I've got the valve I've got the valve covers off. As you can tell right here, and I got the bottom one off. And there's also a new person one. too. Yeah, and I got my friend here helping me out. And uh, also, here's the uh, top of the heads are off. You can see the... So uh, how do you take this apart? How do I take it apart? Yeah. Like I take, take I all the bolts off, no. and I take it apart. Those are, those are actually, like, squishy. They could yep. break it. Yep. Those are... Uh, these are here they, go all the way down. Are they untight? What's that? Is it untight, like... Yeah, they're loose right now. Oh, so you'll see. Loose. Okay. As we're going, we'll show you. But, you need uh, a screwdriver for this. Okay, so it's got the side cover off here for the timing gear and the timing chain. As you can see right here, timing chain's really loose. I'll get my uh, little helper mm -hmm. to turn this wheel right here so you can see how loose the timing chain is. Okay, ready? Turn it. Back Not that loose. Yeah, back and forth, back and forth. Like this? Yeah. So you can see right here how much slop there is in that chain. So either the automatic tensioner is not working, or this is just worn out. I don't think this works. This has. Okay, so I've got the whole cylinder head off, and I'm looking at the piston right now, and uh, right there I see score marks. Um, are you so there's marks me? on. Uh, on the cylinder, on the piston right here. So I'm going to have to investigate that. 
Um, I mean, look at the back. I, like, we haven't looked at the back yet. No, we're not going to look at the back just yet. We're looking at the... This oh, is the piston oh, right oh, here, right? Oh, wow. So it looks like something rubbed against the piston here. I, I don't feel anything with my fingers. No, actually, I do a little bit. But uh, something definitely happened here on the piston. Oh, and uh, inside the cylinder wall, there's a little bit of pitting and so on. So I'm, I'm not too gonna, sure. I might have to uh, replace... Uh, Piston. Oh. I'm gonna replace the piston rings, uh -huh, but I'm hoping I'm able to here. fix the uh, cylinders. Uh, I just took this bolt from here. Yeah, that's okay. You can put that bolt right back in there. I Perfect. Don't... Thank you. So he's my neighbor's uh, son. He came over to give me a hand not... working on my uh, my little dirt bike, my little CT70. But uh, anyway, so inside the cylinder here, you won't be able to tell. Back. So let me see in there, is there anything? Actually what you can do, is I'm going to get my helper here to shine a light inside of it. Oh yeah, I can do that if you want. There you go, shine a light in there please. And right here. Let's see if we can uh, show people there on YouTube what it looks like. Oh, you want to move it a little closer, there you go. So anyway, so inside the cylinder wall, it, I don't know, it looks a little, uh, little beat up there. I'm not too sure what it, happened. It's beat up? It kind of looks that way. It looks like something happened in there. Wait. So I'm going to have to get somebody to look at it from a dirt bike shop or something. Oh, I'm oh, not oh, too oh, sure oh, 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 oh. if the cylinder wall is still good. Not I may have good. to replace it or bore it out. Not good if it's actually damaged. But uh, No, I know. It has to be damaged by rocks. I don't think a rock went in there. No, I think one. Okay, go ahead. So, um, this right here is kind of loose, so I don't have to use this screwdriver. See this? So, um, my finger can just squish it out because it's kind of loose now, so I could just do this. And I didn't even use a screwdriver on it. Oh, and there it goes. It fell out. Now I have to put it back in a little because I don't want it to get lost. So, um, that's the one for this, um, this one. So we have to move on to the next one because I see something in here which has to be done because I see some stuff in there. But there is magnet. We have to get through this hole. Well, it's 